Hey, what's happening guys? Today, I'm going to put together another kit from Cyber City Circuits, the American Flag Kit. And while I'm doing that, I thought you guys would like to see some projects from fellow viewers. I put out feelers a couple weeks ago and some have started coming in. So I'm going to show you two of them today. And the first one is from a viewer who calls himself Armistead AB. It works best in the dark. <laughs> As you can see, it works better uh, in total darkness, but you can still see uh, the clock working. It is a faux Nixie clock. That's the word I'm using. It's not a commercial name because I'm not selling it. But uh, I saw a video on Techmoan's channel about a crow Nixie clock. Now, the Nixie tube is a famous thing. It's uh, a classic, now gone, uh, electronic component. And um, some people have uh, made things like them. Uh, usually it involves putting a, a standard uh, LED display inside of a small tube. And, uh, but for this, what we're using is a um, edge lighting on, on uh, acrylic uh, or clear plastic panels. Now, I couldn't get plastic panels. So what I chose to do instead was going through my supplies, find a, uh, a substitute and the substitute was acrylic tube uh, tubing actually rods acrylic rods that I have and I decided to use them and to uh, see if I could make my own uh, clock I have nothing against the Chronixie or the, or the Lixie they're both actually really well priced as kits the problem is is that I really wanted to do the programming myself and I really wanted to do uh, I want to do as much as possible as possible myself in this project, I used an Arduino Mega uh, and a because it had a lot more pins than the regular Arduino. And I uh, used red LEDs. Uh, the Chronixie has uh, LEDs that change color, but I chose to use the, uh, the uh, red LEDs. I, I just was able to get them a, a large number at a low price, and it, it simplified the code to not to have to change colors. And uh, I'm going to be adding uh, functionality. I'm going to be adding a uh, temperature. Uh, I'm going to put a, a, an Arduino outside with a small power supply, have it radio in what the temperature is, and have this display it maybe every minute, every two minutes, every 30 seconds, something like that. But uh, it's not much of a clock during the daytime, but it's been a lot of fun to make, and I'm going to show you how I made it. I decided to use some acrylic rods I had laying around as I, I was unable to uh, reproduce what the Crow Nixie and Lixie were uh, able to do. And I found uh, that they would mold pretty well with the heat gun on my new rework station. I was uh, never sure I'd have a use for it, but I ended up having use for it pretty quickly. And uh, I used an old shot glass to uh, do the curves that I needed to do. And the acrylic molds at a temperature that it's, uh, it's very easy to do. You don't burn your hands. Uh, you can touch it almost right away. So uh, it was the perfect choice for making the various uh, numbers. And here we go, I've got myself a nine. Pretty quick, this is sped up footage, of course. And we've got our, just make a little, see I was just, I don't need any protection for my hands. It's perfectly safe. I didn't burn them once. Here are some uh, examples, uh, five, six, seven, and eight. This is what they look like. This was a concept idea. Now here's my idea. I actually did uh, white LEDs at first and um, they did not look great. The white bled over too much, so I switched to red. Red did a much better job. Here's uh, showing I used metal tubing to uh, contain and uh, direct the light. Initially, I used white you can see I'm using um, white plastic. Didn't work out very well. I found this at the uh, Habitat for Humanity. It was a uh, bathroom light fixture, six bucks. And I tore it open and removed all of the electric lighting elements. It has room to put the, the computer in and all the wiring. I started cutting small circuit boards 
breadboard so that I could put the, the lighting uh, tubes in and began mounting them in a pattern that uh, matched the, the shape of the, the tubing that I used to uh, denote the numbers. Here you can see is one of the finished ones early on. Now uh, I would modify the numbers and move them around, but this is, gives you the basic idea. Uh, I decided to use wire wrapping. I hadn't used wire wrapping since the fifth grade for a science project, but I decided that I would uh, wire wrap the wires and uh, that produ produced a great effect, uh, much easier than uh, just trying to solder them. Uh, I do recommend soldering them if you can afterwards. Uh, some of them did come loose. So here is one of my initial tests. And uh, you can see that the, it's pretty distinctive. It, it stands, stands out pretty well. And I've got myself a, a little a routine I run, a light show I call it. And that uh, cycles through the numbers pretty quickly, zero through nine. Um, I decided to add numbers, uh, have full ranges of numbers for three of the digits so I can later on do a temperature function. I'm going to have it, uh, so here's uh, what they look at with like uh, without the numbers, they kind of have an interesting burn to them. You can even see one switch. So the kit's going great. It only taking me about five minutes so far. And you can see it's in two parts. Um, you'll notice this one is a yellow LED. Uh, you're going to get all the same color, but I seem to have lost one. It pinged off the table and is nowhere to be found. And then this part joint. Oh, just like that. It joins up to this part with uh, three resistors bridging the gap. And that, I think, is a pretty neat idea. All right, here's another pretty neat idea. A clock made by Dr. Quincy for his kids. All right, the first project we're looking at here today is from a good friend of the channel, Dr. Quincy. And he's made some uh, clocks for his kids. The originals were based on a DS3231, and they were incredibly small, less than a credit card size. Said he showed them to his wife, and she asked if he could make them bigger. And he did. So we're looking right now, I think, is the... Uh, second version. So V2 has a couple uh, tweaks. He had to use a Mac 7219 to drive the uh, seven segment displays that he made up individually using three millimeter LEDs. And since it was for his kids room he added a little uh, LDR circuit to dim at night then he added 12 24 hour you know button switching. Also uh, it was only programmable from the computer before so he added up down buttons to increment and uh, decrement the hours and minutes. And since he had a few pins left on the Atmega, he decided to put in a battery checker. This thing checks the battery voltage twice a day, and he's using the internal voltage reference on the Atmega to do that. That's pretty slick. All of the buttons are hardware debounced using a CD40106BM96 uh, inverting Schmidt trigger. And because the good doctor likes Legos, he built enclosures for all of these clocks, or for the both clocks he built for his children out of Legos. A really nice project here. So, good job, Dr. Quincy. And uh, I'm sure he'd make the uh, KiCad files available if any of you guys are interested. So, there it is, all nice and put together. Ignore my yellow LED. His instructions say uh, put all three resistors in first, makes it easier to solder, and it does. So, very cool. Over here we have a Cyber City circuit. You can see. Give them a link, or you know, click on the link, check them out, have some fun. 
That's it, guys. I want to thank you for watching today. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to everybody who uh, sent in your, your projects. We'll be getting to them. Big thanks, you guys, for watching. Big thanks to Cyber City Circuits for sponsoring the video. That's pretty cool. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.